sorry. I didn't see you guys there. What's up, my nub and nubbets? It's your boy, Ghost Brick here. Yeah, I saw y'all there. I obviously did that on purpose. Like, it's going to be in the comment sections. It's like, why, why were you playing guitar at the beginning? It's because it's cool, all right? I'm a cool, smooth criminal of love, all right? But the viewers requested, so I deliver. So when I did that whole city overview thing, y'all were like, I want to see the bookstore, all right? And then the haunted house is going to be next. So the next video you watch that I upload, you're going to see the haunted house, tower of terror, drop thing. So it's going to be really cool, really awesome interior to that one. But today we are focusing on the bookstore. How would I rate this, though? Um, this bookstore right here, how would I rate this on the modular, you know, scale of what's cool or what's not? I would actually give it like a 6 out of 10. It's not one of my favorites. I think it's my second to least favorite to the Daily Bugle. Um, I will show you guys in a second exactly what I mean and why I'm saying this. So the next uh, the next little panel you're going to see is going to be all taken apart. So take a good look at it now because I'm going to take it apart in sections and we're going to be right back. All right, guys, so starting out, we're going to start with the bookstore, the Birch Books. And there is a birch tree out front that kind of alludes to why it's called Birch Books. We have a guy up front right now. It's kind of on the front of the box like this, too. He's got a book called uh, Moby Brick because uh, Moby's all bricked up, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Zaza. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, we're going to go inside the bookstore real quick. And as you can see, it's got a lot of books, but none of them really have covers. Like, I feel like the original Harry Potter Lego series did a better job uh, with their books, but there's a front register. I know, come on, focus. There we go. You go up the steps, and you get to the second floor. That's, eh, it's all right. So we have a two-story apartment coming up, and we start here with this lady with the crazy hair that looks like, uh, what's his name's wife? Uh, I'll think of it in a second. It's the guy from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Um... It's all right. It's not bad looking. She's got a little clock in there. I really like the clock. It's my favorite uh, little part of any of the modular sets is this clock right here. Love it. Um, Danny DeVito. It looks like Danny DeVito's wife. It's kind of weird. And then we got her little upstairs apartment, like bed area. So she's got an iguana here, which matches the color of the bed. Now I realize this color just came back. The creator of this put in the color. And I'm pretty sure the color's number is 107, if I remember because he wanted to bring these colors back. So it's a little cool tribute to the color, to the number, you know, like the number of the color. I, I thought that was dope, but give me one second and we're gonna take this house apart. Okay, so other than the bookstore itself, the house is gonna be my next favorite. Um, we have a little boy playing with the plane. The plane was in the tree in the box as you know, like the tree over here, so we're there. So um, it's part of the box, like that's just how it is. They have a little under basement going on. It's kind of cool, they got a mouse trap down here. Um, you know, for uh, when I build my Mickey Mouse castle, I put Mickey Mouse down there in the trap. Uh, we have a bag of God knows what, some shears and a ladder to get the plane down. It's got a little crawl space door going outside. In the back of it, we can see a rabbit and a garden. I think I added the rabbit. <laughs> so then we have upstairs and we have a couple. They're reading newspaper. I really like the hat here. The hat's pretty cool. Might use that for a mafia series later. Um, newspaper, Lego News, the greatest hero ever. Bang. We got a curio cabinet here, and then you go up the stairs and up to the bedroom, which is a double bed. We have a picture frame. Somebody said this was from the Big Bang Theory set, too, the picture, the same picture as, yeah. Anyway, so there we go. We have it again where the colors are used, and again, 107, and it's supposed to match up to this color. That's why I was told, so I think that's a really cool little plug-in that they did. But that is the whole entire set. Let me go right back to myself real quick. So yeah, it's not a horrible build. I like it. I do. But it's not my least favorite or most favorite. There's other ones that I like. Now, is it probably getting close to being discontinued pretty soon where they're going to stop making them? Probably. So does it make it worth grabbing? Eventually, if you're going for a whole modular city, you are going to need this eventually. I don't see this ramping up at a huge amount of price on Amazon when it gets discontinued either. So don't worry too much. But here it is. I hope I satisfied you guys. And if you want to comment down below some more modulars, refer to my one video where I went over the whole entire city and use that as a basis of what modular you would like to see. Now, again, I would like to ask if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe to me, please, because I'm trying to grow and I'm trying to get a lot bigger here. I think we're at the 1K mark. I think. No early celebration yet. But yeah, just remember, guys, don't tell Scotty. This has been Ghost Brick. See you guys later.